we're back again for Transformers Fall of Cybertron and also talking about sitcoms. I, I just realized we went from boondocks to sitcoms, but eh, whatever. Proper segue. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what was what were we saying? George Lopez a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you remember the Conan Jay Leno situation? I don't, I don't watch Conan and Jay Leno. Okay, so just to summarize really quick. Okay. George, no, <laughs> George Lopez. Uh, Jay Leno, like... A long time ago stated that yes Conan O'Brien will take over the show eventually so the the ready that already set the, the gears of what was gonna happen in the future because you know no one really solidified it and during what okay so if it's 2014 mm-hmm. how many years was that 2010 2011 well around 2010 or 11 uh, Conan took over the tonight show and Jay Leno went away because he had his new show at 10 o'clock, uh, which was the Jay Leno show, which was a new and experimental show they wanted to test out since Jay Leno still didn't want to go away and he felt like he still wanted to do stuff. But Jay Leno's show wasn't doing so bad, thus affecting the ratings of The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. And because of that, uh, they wanted Jay Leno to take back the Tonight Show and Conan O'Brien, obviously, you know, you know, he that was his dream job. He always wanted to get right the the Tonight Show, and like alternative like suggestions would be, oh, Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien should share the Tonight Show, which would be a terrible idea, by the way. Why? You should always focus on one person because you, that means you have two people. You have to adjust your your likes and dislikes too. Okay. As a viewer. So they were gonna. Conan O'Brien also believed that he shouldn't have done that as well because it would destroy the format of the show. Huh? So because of time. because of this, uh, it, this whole di- uh, like situation with NBC, Jay Leno, and Conan O'Brien, it got worse and worse. And then at this point, Conan O'Brien couldn't take it, so he decided to leave not only the show but NBC at NBC. And in order to do so, uh, he basically. Uh, got paid to leave, so he got. Like, Wait, he got paid to leave? Are you serious? Yeah, because he had a break out of his contract. Uh huh. So because of that, Jay Leno returned back to the Tonight Show only to do it for a couple more years because he just got recently replaced by Jimmy Fallon, who is now the the host of the Tonight Show as well. Which, so uh, Jimmy Fallon's all right in my opinion. I think he does better skits, but in terms of a host, I I like Conan a little bit better and Jay Leno as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, Conan O'Brien then moved over to TBS. Now, meanwhile, that entire situation was happening. TBS was already experimenting, uh, experimenting with their own talk show, George Lopez. Mm-hmm. George Lopez was already in, I don't know, maybe half a year to a year's worth of being on TBS. And George Lopez was like, you know what, that's cool. Bring Conan over. I'll move, I'll move to tonight, uh, like midnight, and he'll have 11. So Conan... And Lopez were on TBS together for another half a year to a year. I'm not sure how long that lasts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was brutal. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, what, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. So that lasted for a while. And then out of nowhere, I guess TBS, they just didn't. I guess the ratings weren't really that good for the Lopez Tonight show. Yeah. So they just didn't renew for a third season. And... It kind of sucks because just like the, the whole Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien thing happened, it technically happened to George Lopez as well. Uh-huh. But George Lopez was cool about it, and Conan obviously didn't want to that ha- happen. Like, he even was hesitant. Like, I, don't, I shouldn't go to TBS because George Lopez was there already. He has the, the 11 o'clock slot. I shouldn't do that. But George Lopez was completely cool about it, and he was like, no, come over. But uh, long, to- uh, long story short... Uh, he no longer has that job, and he said it in an interview a long time ago. Like, he's not bitter about it. He just took it. Like, yeah, you know what? Okay, I got fired. Technically, by definition, he got fired. And he said, like, the fact of the matter is that I have the ability to do so much. That's what really matters. Like, he does movies, television shows. Yeah, he'll he'll get he'll get he'll get work. He'll always get work. So he doesn't feel bitter about it. So I thought that was like, you know, that was a good way of looking at things. Very optimistic. Yeah. And now he has St. Saint George, uh, Saint George. I don't know how the ratings are as of right now. I don't know how many episodes. But hey, you know, he got another work. Mm-hmm. So 
it'll be interesting because it's basically George Lopez minus like, like the you poverty, said, the <laughs> poverty and stubbornness. So um, which I kind of sad because that's what the that's kind of where a lot of funny things happen. Yeah, 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 definitely. So it's gonna be interesting getting adjusted to this. I don't know if I'm gonna follow it, but I'll definitely check it out every once in a while when I have time. Yeah. So, like I said, I don't know if you're gonna check it out, but uh, it's I definitely worth at least the first look. So far, I haven't watched any. I just realized I haven't watched many sitcoms. Like, holy shit, I got him! Nice. Okay. Uh, you know what another sitcom I want to talk about now? Yeah. Oh, screw you, son! I don't care you, that I die. I killed you three. Three, three streak. Okay, so I'm three sorry. Streak. I'm sorry, guys. I sounded like a douchebag, but I'm no, no. Now have, have your moment. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I like to talk about um, that '70s show. So George Lopez. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. Okay, that '70s show. When I first watched it, I thought it was very cool to see like how. Oh, Nigga, stand still. I'm trying to heal. Um, how so you like how niggas like to stand still? <laughs> <laughs> very uh, different from what I thought that 70s show was. Okay, I felt it was very different in the fact that even though it takes in the 70s, it didn't feel like what I expected. Since you know, I'm because it's an atypical sitcom. But the problem is with the show. I think it lasted longer than it should have. Well, yeah, especially after Eric left. Eric and Kelso. Yeah, just like the, uh, like the only reason I, now that I look back. I did not like the final couple, the couple, the couple no, 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 the couple seasons of it, the last uh, couple seasons, because I felt like they overused the laugh track to the point where it's annoying. If you really <laughs> <laughs> ah, you bitch! Oh, it hurt you? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't think you were that sensitive. I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, what the hell? Apparently, Chris is a very uh sensitive man. Hold me. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. The only reason I I kept watching it, if anything else, was. Um, um, loyalty, or like the fact that you've been following it for so long. No, not, thing. Um, not even. I'm um, red. Red and Kitty were always. But that's red. That's not fair. Hey, he's, it, he's an awesome character. I'm gonna put a foot up your ass. God, it never gets old. But yeah, I do feel like the later episodes they use a direct laugh track way too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't even hit you. That. <laughs> but um, I like the interaction between. Is it Hyde? I don't. I don't know what you're describing. But the Afro guy. Yeah. Idiot! <laughs> no, I saw that guy. Yeah, but him and Red, when they talk. Yeah, I feel like I, feel, I really <laughs> it's feel so like funny I feel like Hyde is my favorite character besides Red. I feel weird. It's like almost Hyde is technically the the, the son. Yeah. Of Red more than Eric, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> but like, I, how do you feel about when? Uh, you, no, I just the show I, itself. That, the, the character transition, oh no, the character swap outs, and just like you said, the last is it two. One season. When did you start not like liking it? Pretty much even when Eric was still on, because the jokes that felt like were not as funny. Right. So pretty much the last two seasons, if anything else. Because yeah. I watched the old, the older episodes. They feel real. Like the jokes feel real. The reactions feel real. It just felt. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was me laughing stonerish. Oh, the circle. <laughs> the circle, man. Yeah, one day we should do a circle. Oh, like, I like just circle. just randomly chat. Dude, we're in a circle. Remember the episode where they tried to quit the circle because they thought the government was after them? <laughs> but yeah, that was like one of the old newer, funnier episodes I really... And you know what character I really just not, did not like much at all? Just guess. The sister of Eric? No, I liked her. She was funny. You should know me. Come on. Know me. What character would not, I would not oh, like? Oh, is it the freaking Miley Mila Kunis? Yes. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me this. And then tell the audience why. I feel they did too well on the. Oh, damn Her it. personality. Yeah, they did. They did the bratty. Self entitled. Self entitled chick way too good. Narcissistic. Yeah, and also I do feel like Kelso's argument. Remember when they were talking about why Kelso when they were got in a fight and then Kelso described why he cheated because Jackie always treated him like shit. Yeah. Even though it's, it's still cheating, it's still bad, no doubt. But I can see his point of view in a oh way. Oh my god, he he actually likes cheating. Oh my god, Chris, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what the did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? What the hell, bro? He, he was like, yeah, cheating's bad, but... <laughs> oh, shut up. Don't put words in my mouth, you asshole. Just kidding. Go ahead. Keep going. But yeah, um, I felt... I, that's why I felt like with Jackie. Like, I know, I, I hate how the fact that they just tossed her around like a salad. If it like, makes, first, yeah, Kelso, then, then, then Hyde, Hyde. Then, then Beth. I'm like, really? Did you have to get with three of the... The only guy he didn't get out with Eric, with Eric 
Well, because he had Donna. Donna would beat the crap out of her. Yeah, but yeah. wait, so how would your opinion on the show? I like the, well, the, you, basically what you think. And also, it's because it's just like, I don't know what that last two seasons were. It was weird. It was. Like, I was just like, the new guy, I don't really care for you. Yeah, and they, they made Like, him, I didn't hate him. I, just him did, I did they, not care for they him. Try, they tried to make him likable because he's a nice guy. But I, it just, he didn't do anything. And, a, and a, when he got in a relationship with Donna, I'm just like, really? Donna. Okay, what, what, screw what, that noise. How, how, what happened to Eric again? He she, left he, it. He went to Africa. There it is. But then they, and they broke up off screen. Again. I, just, just so you know, I don't like off screen development. I hate that. I <laughs> that's hate just, that. That's a cop out. Pet peeve, pet peeve for you? Pet peeve. Like, there's only few, very few situations where it's acceptable. I can't name them off the top of my head because it's been so long. But don't ever do that. That's just lazy. It really is. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! He I wish I Beyblade oh, he, your he, ass. Had, he had a healer, that's why. He Beyblade your ass. Oh, yeah. But Beyblade. And I feel like the relationship the between Donna. What the hell? I feel like the relationship with Donna and Eric was more real than later seasons also. It just felt real. Like yeah, it was so real that it just felt why are you doing that? You're doing that. That's what you said. I'm not doing it. Oh, no, damn it, I died. Literally, you have not used anything other than the word real. Really? Okay, so <laughs> also the con there, there are things called synonyms. All right, the also the um yeah. Uh, like and you don't said, you dare say realistic. With John, no, with Josh Myers, the new guy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't care yeah, right. at all. Like they try to make him nice guy. Right. I didn't. I so. <laughs> wow, that was blunt. The fact that he also also hangs out at Eric's spot now, I'm just like, no. You, you, you're not replacing him. Yeah. It just the chemistry did not was not there. Meanwhile, where's Eric? Uh, so um, I'm Venom. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. And um, movie made a lot of money. <laughs> it did. Yeah. I don't care what you guys say. Uh, but yeah. That's how I feel about that semi show. I feel like it lasts longer. And the finale, the final episode, it was all right, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Do you ever think you'll have a reunion? Because I know for a fact, like shows like The Fresh Prince will never. Well, we know why. Well, not even even before you know. The, oh really? Uh, before uh, you know, Uncle on. Phil's death, J James Avery. Yeah. James yeah, James Avery, Avery awesome actor. Know. You know, condolences and everything. But even before that, I knew they would never. Why? I just had that. It's one of those feelings. It's just like. I think that same show didn't have a reunion, but they had like actors, you know, met the, up and talked. Oh, well. Th those don't but really actually, a reunion episode with them and character and everything? Right, yeah, right. right. No, it was. Yeah, 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 I see. Because. And I heard they were thinking about making it like the, that 80s show, but it just didn't. What? Go. Yeah. Really? But, but, but then again, there was another show earlier that sh appeared at the same time called That 80s Show. And it didn't last long at all. Like not, not even a full I season. I guess we really care more I about the '70s. I have a friend. I have a friend. Our than the '80s. Oh, okay, random people. I gotta mute them. Sorry. How do I mute people? I forgot. You make them go. What happened? Did you? Uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties. What the hell? Yeah, oh my so. god. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, just lost connection. <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, yeah, that ends that video. I gotta find another match, but yeah, we'll continue talking about sitcoms. Like that's the show. We're not done with it. Is it? We're almost done. We're almost done. But yeah, we'll talk about next sitcom when we can think about it. All right, peace.